Welcome to my home. And what is going on here is a like mini remodel of my kitchen slash living room slash whatever that other room was. I, I used to use it as a dining room. I, I, I don't really know what the former folks that lived here used that room for. It, it's basically an add-on. So, so let's kind of go over my plans for this, this area. I wish I had done a before plan. I'm kind of like in the middle, in, in kind of in between plan right now because some of the things have already started happening. So you have my kitchen cabinets painted. I'm not ready for a full scale remodel, although I would love nothing other than to rip everything out of here. I mean, I'm talking just redo, gut it, even have a new layout. I would, I would just absolutely love that, but it's not in the budget for right now. This camera is going to drive me crazy because I want it up there and it just keeps sinking lower. Maybe I can put a clip in it. I'm going to try a chip clip. Nope, it's sinking right here. Nope. <laughs> it's not stopping. It's so frustrating. This tripod works great with my cell phone, but with my camera, it's just too heavy, and that's the problem. Let's just continue. That's all that I can do. I love white cabinets, but I think with the color of the countertops that I have, um, I don't know that I want to go full white. Also, I still have three kids living here, although they're older kids. They got 16, 18, and 20. And then my husband, a dog, and a cat, white cabinets. Might be a little rough to keep clean, so I'm gonna kind of go a different direction. I've decided to go with a blue. The blue spruce, the one on the, bi the bottom there. Is it gonna focus? I don't know. I don't know if it knows how to focus there, but it should be focusing. Anywho, so I'm gonna do that. I got some new handles. The handles that are on here, and um, maybe I'll show you over here. So this is a prime example of why I hate these handles is they're too big. They're too long for the screw holes. So they're three inches uh, center to center, but then they have this little overhang and the per person that installed this did not account for that overhang. So it hangs down on the bottom of the cabinets. Also, I think they're a little outdated, so I'm going to replace them. My first shot with replacing them was using a black, which I hate the black on here on this kind of color cabinet but also they seem a little flimsy they seem a little i don't know they're a little cheap so i think i'm not going to go with the black i'm probably going to return those and i've got a set of gold like a champagne gold color on the way i think the champagne gold with the blue is really going to pop so they're going to be handles again but they're going to have the correct shape you know, the center to center with not a whole lot of overhang so that I can reuse the same holes. So that's what's going on in the kitchen. Um, that's one of the things going on in the kitchen. Right here I have like this little, it's kind of, it's a table actually, and it has some stools on the other side. And I got it because I wanted extra counter space, which it, it does give me extra counter space. The problem is, is the storage is open. And I really had a hard time finding something. This is actually the second thing I bought. The first thing I bought was that one over there. Not the garbage can, but the, uh, the cabinet. Can you see it? Um, it ended up being too small. And I needed something more because I need storage too. I don't have a lot of storage in here. Oh, that's the washing machine. <laughs> washing machine is out of balance. It's going crazy. Um, but what I wanted to show here is this used to be a galley kitchen. And the former owners ripped out the wall here and the upper cabinets. So I really don't have a lot of cabinets in here. I've got those ones over there. I've got this here. I'm backwards, so I'm, I'm kind of on a little disoriented. Maybe I should just look. I've got the stove and microwave combo. Microwave is way too high for me. I'm so short for that. And then whatever that nook is above the stove I don't, or the microwave, I don't understand what that's there for, but um, I'm going to do something with that and something cuter. I've got uh, these cabinets here on the base. So, I mean, with a family of five, it's not enough storage. I do have a pantry, so the food's in the pantry, but it still is not a lot of storage for, you know, plates and cups and silverware and um, pots and pans and cutting boards and cookie sheets, you know what I mean? Like this, it, and appliances. You know, I have no room for appliances in here. So a lot of my appliances are either out on the counter or down here in this open storage. I got my rice maker there. I've got um, you know, I've got a, um, what's this called? A tea kettle here, but my other appliances are in the pantry and, and I just <sighs> want to be able to grab things quicker and easier. And I think having more storage out here and an extra countertop 
would help me, but I don't like the openness of this, this thing. I mean, it drives me crazy because I can see it all and it's ugly and it's cluttery. So what I want to do is I want to sell that. I'm going to sell that on Facebook Marketplace and I'm going to buy another cabinet that is enclosed, that has doors that I can put, you know, stuff in so it looks cleaner, it looks nicer. My whole point for doing this mini remodel is to make my house look more aesthetic. I'm not looking for magazine cover, you know, aesthetic, but I want it to look better than it does. It's too cluttery for me. I don't like a lot of things on the counter. I like a, a neater, cleaner look, but I don't have the room to put it away. So that's the primary objective of doing this. So moving into the living room right now, my little my little doggies over there right now I have no couch because what happened was I took my husband to the store and the intention was to replace this couch but I wanted him to come with me because I hated that love sack couch my dog is still drinking baby I'm making a video <laughs> anyway and the former couch that I had bought I didn't like it either I bought it at big lots it was a cheap couch it was like three or four hundred dollars but like I feel like Obviously, I am not good at picking couches. So he kind of didn't want to go, but I made him go because I was like, I need another opinion on the couch. And he said, well, I'm not going to sit on the couch. He never sits downstairs. We always sit upstairs in the man cave. I said, but you're a man and you know what's comfortable and what you like. So I said, please go with me. So he comes with me. We, got, we went to the Ashley Home Store and we walk in the front door and there was this amazing couch, wrong color in my mind. It was called spruce or spice, spice. So it was like an orange color. And I was like, ugh. It was also way too big for this space. So I was like, let's keep looking. He loved it. We sat in it and we're both like, man, this is so darn comfortable. I love this couch. But we kept looking, we kept looking and I, and I just couldn't find anything. I was like, I just, I can't find anything. So I said, maybe next time I'll bring the kids by because I, you know, he wasn't really helping. He was kind of just like sitting there and looking on his phone. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I need to bring the kids. The kids are the ones that sit on the couch with me. So long story short he said i love that couch so much i would like to have it for the man cave <laughs> and then why don't we just bring the man cave couch down to the living room and i'm like eh, i don't like that idea because the man cave couch is black and what vibe i'm going in in here is a coastal vibe i'm really into like the beiges and whites but blues and grays so black i mean it'll look okay and he started pointing out like you know the um, microwave is black and the stove is black and the dishwasher is black and that cabinet back there is black and that you know like he kept saying like all these things are black and I'm like yeah but black just kind of like swallows up the light like it just it sticks out like a sore thumb anyways I love him so much we both love the couch even though I wasn't a fan of the color he's a, a, a San Francisco Giants fan so he was like you know it'll tie in the Giants in the room and I'm like yeah but you have like 49er stuff up there and he was like it doesn't matter so we end up getting the couch for him so I sold my couch on Facebook Marketplace. Like I said, the lady that went, that came and bought it, she actually has a love sack couch and she had been, just been through a divorce and her ex took half the couch. Like, okay. So she was looking for her pieces to fill in her couch. So she was happy. We helped you know, take it over to her house. It was fantastic. Everybody's happy. But in the meantime, I've got camping chairs <laughs> in my living room right now. So the other couch doesn't come until August 3rd. So the plan is to bring the man cave couch down here on August 2nd. So we'll do that. So that's that's one thing that's going on here. I'm probably will replace the rug. You know, it. I don't know if it's gonna go. I, I might be able to keep it, I might be able to replace it, but it needs to be clean, that's number one. So sometimes it's not always worth the effort of cleaning things. Okay, other things I wanna change, I wanna get rid of this little clutter corner right here. I've got a wine bridge, which I have stopped drinking at home for the most part. I'm basically drinking to get rid of the wine, but um, I no longer need a wine fridge. I got 16 more bottles of wine and then that's out of here. And then I've got this record player on this little cheap Ikea lac table, which I wanna get rid of. It's just like this clutter corner. So that's gonna go. And then this is our room that has no identity. I never know what to do with this room. Like I used to have cabinets right here. This is what I'm talking about. It's like I've already started this stuff and it's in progress. and. That's just the way that it is. Okay, so there were two cabinets here. They were Ikea cabinets that I had gotten probably about 15 or 16 years ago. That's how old they were. 
across the back of a room and they had doors on them. Like over the years, the doors hinges started breaking and I just started taking the, the, the doors off. And then basically it was like open storage. It was like a bookshelf kind of thing. We could see all the things, all of our games, all of our craft stuff. And then again, it was like, it just looks cluttery. So what I went and did was I bought some new cabinets and they actually just came like five minutes ago from Amazon. They're huge. Um, so they need to be put together. So um, I've got that going on here. My litter box is right there. It's like a furniture litter box. It's black. And I, I decided to get another one because I want it to just blend in. Having a black litter box uh, up against a white wall. This is off-white, but you know what I mean? It, it sticks out like a sore thumb, so I figured I would get a white litter box. It's a little taller and thinner, and it's going to go on the other side. And you can kind of see when I back up here. Maybe this will be a better angle to kind of describe everything I'm talking about. So it's like this big opening, right? And then there's these two sides. So there's a little bit of wall on the other side that we can't see from this side. So my point was to tuck the litter box on that side behind the wall so we won't even see it. Even though it's, it's going to be white and it's going to blend in better, I won't even see it from this angle. So the idea is to have those two cabinets that, that need to be assembled and to put all of the games and craft stuff away in there and then it'll just be clean looking in there. Uh, the desks that's in the room is probably going to get sold. There's a chair there that's probably going to go to one of my boys if they need a new chair. Uh, treadmill is going to go into the garage. The other thing that I don't have a spot for and it probably will stay in here but it collapses is that little table. It's like an arts table. My daughter paints on it. She painted this thing right here. Let me show you. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> My little artiste. So she painted that. And so I like to have a place and it's got a lot of good natural light. So I like to keep that for her. And then I'm going to get rid of this black cabinet right here. And then kind of back in this area where the couch. This is a cascading effect thing. So I'm having the couch delivered on August 3rd. I'm having the cabinets painted probably the week after that or the week after that, so mid-August. So before the cabinets get painted, I need to sell that one thing over there that I talked about earlier, that open shelving thing. I'm gonna sell that so it's not in the way of the painters. And then after the paints, because the paint's gonna go all underneath here, this is a spot where you can put like um, bar stools. And there used to be bar stools there, but we didn't like how thin it was because the stove's right here. So look how narrow this is. And when someone is sitting there on the bar stool and you're cooking bacon or, or even just cooking something else, it's basically right in their face. And I didn't like that. And I didn't feel like we needed the bar stools. We didn't really need it here. So what I'm going to end up doing after the painting is buy like a dresser kind of thing right here. I'm, I'm always in the way. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> a dresser kind of thing here. And then I've got this, this thing that has its storage, it's like a bench, and it has storage and it has blankets in there currently, but well, I'm gonna get rid of that, I'm gonna sell it too. And then when I get the dresser, I will um, put the blankets in the dresser. So that'll be additional storage for me for living room items, you know, like blankets, um, just extra things that are laying around that don't need to be laying around, I, I don't know. But I'll figure it out, but I think when all is said and done. I mean, I have one more cabinet that I may consider replacing. It is also black and it's a little worn out. It came from my husband when we moved in together. So it's been beat up. It's been moved a bunch. It's got some, you know, like nicks and, and things and it's okay for now. Um, I'm not in a rush to get rid of it, but that might be one of the other things to get rid of and possibly a new kitchen table. This one I got on Craigslist for $150 when I was getting divorced. You know, when I needed to move out and have a table. Um, I still love the table. I want to see how it looks with everything else to see whether I need to replace the entire table. Because it's a pedestal table. I feel like it's outdated, but it's very sturdy. You know what I mean? So it's like, if it isn't broken, don't fix it. So we will see how that goes. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna kind of see how everything looks with the paint, with the couch, with the other things. I'm gonna get some stuff for the wall, like that wall is bare. 
and that wall has a clock on it so i need to figure out that's our doggy door right there i need to figure out what to put over here to kind of balance that i would like to bring in some greenery some uh, i was thinking about getting one of those olive trees one of those fake trees and like i said declutter put things away put things behind closed doors uh, sell excess furniture that we no longer need replace furniture with better quality things or things that just fit the need better and no open storage um, so I've got a couple things, three things to put together. I don't know if I'm going to put them together or my husband's going to. My husband is fantastic at putting furniture together. That used to be his occupation. He used to do that for a living, but he also works 60, 70 hours a week. So I don't know that he's going to be available to put this together. Now, I, I mean, it literally, I was expecting this to come on Monday and here it's Friday and it gets here. And I'm thinking, well, I've got this weekend now, so I might be putting it together. I also have some things coming from the TikTok shop as samples, one of them being a electric screwdriver, which would be perfect for putting something like this together if I'm going to do it myself. And I also can do a review video on the screwdriver putting this stuff together. And I can do a review video on all of the things that I'm buying. So like the two cabinets that I'm buying that I bought and that are here and the new litter box here. Um, and then like anything else that like if I get a new rug, um, the new island thing that I get. So anything that I get to kind of tie this all together, I might get new curtains, I can do review videos on it. And then I plan to make review videos if the product's available on the TikTok shop, post it there. If the product's available on Amazon and I can tag the product there, I will put it on my Amazon storefront and you know get paid commissions there. If it's available on Walmart, I'll put it on my Walmart creator. So I feel like take what I'm doing and turn it into making some commission and uh, making some money back from what I'm spending. That's that's the overall goal is to um, get better, like I said, better quality things, things that, but then also share, share the information so that other people, if, if they like the item too, you know, they could purchase it through my, my affiliate links and I could get a commission. And I mean, what, it's win-win to me, right? Obviously if the item is crap and I don't like it and I'm gonna be returning it, I'm not gonna do, a glowing review video. I don't even know if I will do a review video if something isn't great because really what's the point? Uh, we'll see. We'll see how that, that works out. It depends in, on my mood because you know I have been in the past where something has been so frustrating or so like I don't like this product and immediately like I, I want it out of my house. I just take it back and I return it. Um, so then I was like oh well I could have done a review video on that and then I just completely forgot. So but I am super, super excited on a personal level to bring this room together and have it be how I would love it. I don't think I've ever done this in my life. Like I've never approached designing a room and having it be aesthetic and appealing to me. I, I, I've always just like, I feel like this is finally the time in my life. I finally have enough money and I finally have kids who are older that won't ruin the things that I buy. You know, like I, I just feel like I can have nice things now. You know, that whole thing, like this is why we can't have nice things. Now I can have nice things and I intend to have nice things and I wanna share the excitement that I feel with getting those new nice things and styling them and putting them in my home and just making this a place where it's my sanctuary and, and I just love it. I just, I'm, I'm almost gonna cry <laughs> because I'm so, I'm so freaking excited about this and I, I get to share this. I get to share this with, with you and I thank you for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. Um, if you haven't considered subscribing, please consider subscribing so that you can get the updates on the, all the, you know, the remodeling and the, and the activities that are going on here. And I will continue to post the review videos of the products that I like or don't like. The don't likes are harder, like I said, a lot of times it's a knee-jerk reaction. I just want them out of my house. But the ones I do like, obviously, I do post and, and say that I like them and, and give features and, and whatnot about them. So I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. I can't wait to give you an update. All right, bye.